dear people of Ambazo, my fellow brave warriors of our liberation movement, accept liberation greetings from me, Comrade John Akuro, this Thursday, the 12th of September 2024. My dear people, I'm delighted to be back on this platform to initiate a conversation so that together we can continue to educate ourselves, motivate ourselves, encourage ourselves, so we continue to fight for what we believe in, to fight for our country, to fight to restore the soul of our country, to fight to take back our country from the hands of invading forces from neighboring Latin Republic to Cameroon, sponsored by France and some other allies on the international scene. My people, I want to thank the good number of you who have reached out to me to check after me because you noticed that uh, since my last appearance on this platform over a week ago, I had not come back despite promising to be back as fast as possible. I was uh, taken by ill health, was really serious this time around, was really down. I faced uh, I mean, a steep health challenge that ended up with uh, hospitalization until I was released back to the house about two days ago. Although I'm still convalescing, I couldn't hold myself to come back to the studio so that we continue the fight, so that we continue to battle to make sure we have a homeland, to make sure we take back our land from intruders from neighboring the Republic to Cameroon and ensure that we will be quick to future generations of Southern Cameroon of Ambazonians, a free, independent, prosperous, and democratic Southern Cameroons, aka Ambazon. My people, just know we must continue to be unstoppable. Whatever the circumstances, when we fall, we must get our back and we continue to fight. I know that there are some in the camp of the enemy who were already celebrating that I had pulled out of the struggle or that I was getting tired. But trust me, that even in my state of illness, even during moments where I was unconscious, my spirit was fighting. My spirit kept fighting. And I assure you, we will fight in this way, all the way until we attain our objective. I know that the temptation to get tired is too hard, is too high, too strong. I know that the temptation to draw back, to get discouraged is so strong. I know that the voices that are rising to tell you this thing is leading you nowhere are getting stronger by the day. But I want to tell you this. I want us to know this. If you really want it, you can pick up your pen and write it down. Conventional African wisdom says that if you embark on an adventure to look for gold or to search for a fortune that's considered hidden somewhere, that you are treasure searching, and as you are going, everything is just smooth, just smooth. All of you so understanding, everybody so cooperating, and you're just going and going and going. That journey, that route is leading to nowhere. There is no glory ahead for that journey. But when you meet obstacle after obstacle after obstacle after obstacle, some of the obstacles that even threaten to tear you apart, that you even start threatening to eat up each other. Folks, there is something very lofty ahead. 
that is waiting for you. There is a huge crown right ahead. We must bear this therefore in mind. That is why way back in 2017, some of us made it clear that this is absolute independence we are talking about. That's what our people want. This is total self-determination. That's what our people want. This is severing the like Republic of Cameroon from the source of almost 60% of, of, of its country's GDP. This is severing the like Republic of Cameroon from a source of illicit cash. You know, two days ago, some of the big guns of the Republic of Cameroon, their names are being called in London through the framework of the Glencoe affair. That oil that they were collecting a lot of bribes in the billions of CFA oil. It's not theirs. Therefore, don't expect them to get them one morning and imagine that the source of illicit cash that pays for their luxury, they will just lose it like that. That's why we say it wasn't going to be a walk in the park. We have to get it through hard labor, through real hard labor, through toil, through real toil. And of course, that blood and iron were going to be involved. That is what we are seeing today. So my people of Ambazonia, make no mistake. You see, one of the things that gladdened my heart as I got, as I got off my sick bed this morning and decided to come down to the studio was because I noticed that the call I've been making all these days over and over on our people in the diaspora to return to the streets for demonstrations was picked by Canada. Oh, Canada. My heart comes out to you. Comrade Valerie Sardingo. And all you Ambazonians, Southern Cameroonians in Canada, members of the Southern Cameroon's Relief Organization, Scroll. I drove my heart to you. 21 armored cars. All in a, in a place day. You have risen to the occasion to remind the people on Ground Zero who are currently in lockdown that in this business we are all together. The people of La Republic du Cameroon, especially the government, they were already getting so excited that they had succeeded in fragmenting, in dividing, in breaking the backbone of the liberation movement, which is the diaspora. They were already getting excited that because they had sponsored and worked hard to achieve the kidnapping of a lot of our own family members, collected huge ransoms from us in the name of so-called Amber Boys, that a good lot of us have come to understand that no, this thing, we need to abandon it. That is how it is to nowhere. That even the people with whom we think we are fighting are against us, which is not true. They were already excited. They were already so frustrated that we had to pay ransoms. And these ransoms were returning into the pockets of the dogs of La Republic du Cameroon and their parachutes in their midst to include a tanga porngi, to include all those CPDM hoodlums who called themselves our elites, all those who called themselves members of parliament, senators, mayors, and all the likes. They worked hard to achieve this, and they were celebrating that it's over. But Canada has told them it will never be over until it is fully over. That's why I'm gloating. That's why I'm excited. Even as I was on my sick bed, the news came to me that three gentlemen among the Sardinas based in the United States of America have been contacted by the offices of La Republic du Cameroon and always a tanga ponji is ahead of it all to set themselves after me to come after my life and the lives of other prominent people in the struggle in the United States. I got that information 
and I will be getting their names in the days ahead. But I want to tell this sardina, or whosoever you call yourselves, take note. Even if you succeeded in bringing down Barakuro, it will end nowhere. This liberation movement will never be stopped by the taking down of one person. But I just want you to know that I'm already aware. I just want you to know that Southern Cameroonians and Bazonians are already aware. And we will soon get the details about you. I will be on the lookout for you with the security uh, operatives of the United States of America. My people of Ambazonia, they celebrated not long ago. That brave, brave heart, no pity, had been wiped out. The thing is over and all of those things. But I've seen them these past days on social media crying everywhere that the messages they are seeing, the communications they are getting are a clear indication that brave heart, no pity, is not only alive, but very strongly alive and preparing a comeback. Oh my goodness. La Republic du Cameroon, you people need to learn. Without much ado, folks, I want us to go to Canada because it's a moment of relaxation and of joy when our people decided to get up to say enough of inactivity, enough of inaction, and decided to paint Canada once more in blue and white colors. Kudos, folks. Let's watch them. Colonize us! We no go green. Did you hear that? We no go green. I'm sure you heard that voice in the background very sharp. He no go finish. Look at them. Look at the crowd. Look at the sheer number. You know, folks, the beauty of these demonstrations in Canada lies in that fact that these are Southern Cameroonians, a.k.a. Ambazonians, of all shades of opinion. They did not go there as consortium. They did not go out there as SCNC. They did not go as IGK. They did not go as an egg of sea. They did not go as an IG Sako. They did not go as IG Comrade Marianta. They did not go as IG uh, 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 Chris Anu. They did not go there as APLM. They did not go there. No! They went out there as Ambazonians. They ignored the attempts of La Republic du Cameroon to shatter us, to fragment us, and they came out in their numbers. What is so sweet is the level of enthusiasm, the determination, the resilience that I could feel in them, and I'm sure you too will. My people, this was simply elevating. Just take a look at this other, at, at this other uh, images. We are back. Hello. That's it. Go to fight now. How many people probably have got killed? How many people probably have got killed? How many people probably have got killed? No, they must come out. No, 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 no. They must come out. They must come out. They must come out, sir. No, sir, they must come out. See, we want to the peaceful way. Come out and talk to them. They don't feel us anything. Have you seen these pictures how they are killing us? We are coming to the peaceful way. No, 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 no. It's already good. I will not expect that again. See, come, come, see. We want to take it in a peaceful way. Hold on, hold you on. see the anger that we have, and even to talk to us, they don't want to talk to us. Okay. You understand, sir? Yes, yes, yes. 
So based on past events, that's why they're not coming out. If you approach like this, it's going to be continuous. Nobody's going to come out and speak to you. No, right but, now, it calm. Wait, wait, but, but right we're there, calm. right? I understand. It's not going there. We're there and we say that let them come. One or two, like we did on the other place. Yeah. Go and talk. They don't want to. I get it. Because they but don't see us like any people. But we can't change what they're saying. So no. if you show that you're Tell them that if they don't come. Uh, my guys are angry. I told them that we are not supposed to come here. I'm not the one controlling this now. I told them that we are not supposed to come here. And they fucked me off. They said, talk to fuck out, man. If they don't want to come and talk to us, we will go and talk to them. But you can't. So once you do that, it's going to become criminal. We don't want any... Look, folks, this is simply amazing. This reminds us of the early days. 2017, 2018, 2019. I said that this spirit will come back. I said it was just a matter of time. You can hear the determination in their voices. You could hear the fearlessness. You could feel it. You see, they are at the embassy or of the High Commission of La Republic of Cameroon in Canada. And they are saying the embassy officials must come out. But they chicken and call the police in. But you look at even that has not deterred our people. They stand tall and they tell them what they need to know. This is the Ambazonia I came out to fight for. This are the southern Cameroonians that came out into the diaspora to join hands with so that we should fight to make sure we free our country. I couldn't be more proud of Comrade Valerie Saningong and all the folks out there in Canada. It was an incredible moment. You just see the sheer numbers. I'm sure in Yaoundé they are confused. They are shocked. They are embarrassed. They'll even be asking themselves, are these truly Amazonians? Because they definitely told themselves, we will never be able to get even 30 people again to get out onto the streets in the diaspora and demonstrate. But you can see the numbers. Just watch on. So, Southern Cameroonians in Canada, they have gone mad. They have come to the embassy. Today is the uh, United Nations General Assembly meeting, and they wanted to pass a message. They want the Republic of Cameroon and the slave, Kilimon Yang, to leave our land. He's chairing the meeting today. That's why we are here. You see, the Canadian police have called reinforcement and everything. They think that they will frighten us, but we, we, we have never been scared and we shall never be scared of anything. These are Canadian police, they are here. We have told them, we have asked the ambassador to come out, and if he doesn't come out for us to pass our message, we are not going anywhere, and we shall come inside that place, and we shall stay there until they come. Defiance, and yes, defiance is the name of the game. You hear that? They told them, we will not move. No. They make clear, we will not move. If they don't come out to talk to us, we will not move. And they are standing their grounds. This makes a difference. This reminds and motivates our brave hearts on ground zero motivates our people in Ambazonia, in Bamenda, in Boya, in Kumbo, in Kumba, in Bengui, in Bengalam, in Mbot, in uh, uh, Nguti, uh, in Tenako, in Bathmen, who are standing strong. It reminds them that, folks, we are still later. And we will be even more later in the days ahead. So let's just watch on again. Convince me to go that we made the campus here. No, but we need to go.
As you can see, these people have one clear message. That message is not to the ambassador. True that that high commissioner is of Southern Cameroon's extraction, Mr. Angola uh, Philip Wese. But he's working, he's there on behalf of La Republic du Cameroon. Asking him to come out and to talk to him is not paying allegiance to the ambassador. It's to tell the ambassador that tell your country, the country you are a slave to, that you people have to leave our land. Because I read somewhere, some folks said, oh, saying they wanted to talk to the, uh, to the ambassador, show that they consider him as the ambassador. Hell no. You must get someone to carry the message to whoever you are focusing or targeting to understand that it will never be business as usual. My people, as you will see, these are folks who have jobs. Some of them, two or three jobs that they are doing. Who have families. Who have a lot of obligations to attend to. But, they set all of these things aside. I said, today, we have to go out. Because they learned that it was a meeting of the United Nations taking place around that premises. Oh, they are preparing to come to New York. And so they needed to transmit a clear message. They never missed the opportunity to. Look at this last year. We are going. Hello. That's it. For the fight now. How many people probably are going to kill? No, they must come out. No, 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 no. They must come out. They must come out. They must come out. Sir. No, sir. They must come out. See, what we, we want to the peaceful way. Come out and talk to them. They don't see us or anything. Have you seen these pictures how they're killing us? We're coming to the peaceful way. No, 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 no. Simply amazing. And now, when you look at them, these are young boys and girls, women and men, from all the castes of our community. They came out together. You did not see them carrying the effigy of any leader in this liberation movement. They carried the effigies of our prisoners of war. Oh yes, because those people are paying a big price for this liberation movement. They had to come out there and call for their release. I mean, I couldn't be more flattered. Look at them. Handsome young men, beautiful, beautiful young women who said, we must set everything aside. This is the time to go back to the streets. Because the world must hear us again. They said the world must hear us again. And the world heard us again. My people of Ambazonia, this is what I said. Wherever you are in the world today, wherever you are in the world this minute, you saw they hired a big bus, very big bus, maybe even more than one, that transported them and they kept pulled to specific locations and were transported to this place where they came for the demonstrations. This is what I've been asking for all over the world. So if you are in Finland, if you are in Norway, if you are in Belgium, if you are in France, if you are in Germany, wherever you are in the world, in Ghana, if you are, in fact, in the United Kingdom, of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, 
And if you are especially in the United States of America, the stakes could not be higher. This is the time to mobilize. And this is coming ahead of September 22, which is World Takumbon Day. A clear announcement, a clear demonstration of leadership, and a clear call on all of us to come out there too and make our voices heard wherever we are. Even if you are three of you, five of you in your country of residence, come out there, let your voice be heard. Look at the occupied space. I see they occupied more than enough space everywhere. You see, they're on literally both sides of the streets with placards, with everything, and they were disciplined, determined, focused, united to tell the world that Ambazonia must be free. And when I watched this, I was so excited. And I was talking to someone in Canada and I was saying, you guys are tough. You guys are brave. You guys hold the candlelight. You guys are the peace setters. And I hope that folks in the United States of America are seen and will be able to do something pretty quick. There's September 22 coming. There's especially October 1 coming. And she chuckled. She said, you people in the United States, you are the worst of the traitors. That you, the Ambazonian diaspora in the United States, you are the worst of the traitors. Because you people are the epicenter of the division, the divide and rule that is going on in the struggle. Are you sure you will be able to get 30, 40 people to come out? Because... By the time they are calling a demonstration, this leader is telling his people, don't go because I'm not the one that caught it. Or the other will tell his, his, his people, make sure you call everybody not to go, to shame them because we have to show that I am the only one that is popular. I was humble. But I didn't give up. And I won't give up. Because I know that in the United States of America, us Ambazonians, we are capable of understanding when to end a stupid field. So we can get into the fray. I want to particularly lord comrade Adwa Alemanji, who, no matter the circumstances, is always available with his instruments and everything to galvanize whatever demonstration is called by whomever. And so I said, don't worry, we have an opportunity and we will show you. That the United States of America, we can't be pushed over us. We can't be fools for life. And so, I brought out this poster. And I said, This is a demonstration built for September 20. This is Friday, September 20. In New York, at the UN headquarters. On 405 East 42nd Street, NY 10017. And they say the purpose is, Young Philemon, the traitor, is president of 79th General Assembly. Mr. Beer, with his cabal of murderers and looters, will be addressing the UN. So Friday, September 20, 2024, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., they say, come out and mass in New York. So this is an opportunity, a rare opportunity. For us in the United States of America, where we are in tens of thousands, we did it on September 22, 2017 uh, in New York. We can do it again now. Mark that date. Don't ask me questions. Who has called this demonstration? They didn't ask those questions in Canada. Don't bother about it. It's not important. All you need to do is know that this demonstration is going to happen. Go out there. Call friends. Call family. Call your neighbors. Arrange, make carpooling arrangements. Let us descend onto New York on September 20. 
I'm convalescent. If I'm strong, I definitely will be there on that day. And there are important details on that flyer. It says, departure from Maryland, Greenbelt Mall, 6 a.m. on that Friday. So if you can, if you can get to Greenbelt, you are definitely going to meet a lot of people and you can join one car or the other. But don't wait until that day. Make individual arrangements. For those of us who are in Maryland, the, uh, uh, Virginia, uh, Washington, D.C., Delaware, I mean the DMV metro area, trust me, especially those who are in Delaware, that trip to New York is less than three hours. For Maryland, that trip is just about four hours. Make, let's make that trip. Let's call ourselves, agree together, move in fives. For cars that can carry five people. In sevens. For cars that can carry seven people. Let's put money, to, money together, hire a van that can carry even more people. Let's congregate onto New York. For those who are in Boston, that journey is, is about two hours or two hours, 30 minutes. Don't miss the occasion. Gather too. Bus yourself to New York. For those of us who are in New Jersey, of course you are in New York. Make sure you don't stay at home. If you plan on staying at home, continue to look at your palms. At some point, you see that your palms are going to be turning red, showing the blood of the mad tires that are dying, crying for salvation, begging you to come out there and demonstrate. Folks, let's do it. Yes, we can do it. Folks, let's do something. We can't just cry. We can't just keep crying. We can't keep sleeping and complaining about the laxity, the division, and hoping that Jesus Christ will come down from heaven someday and cure that division. We must begin from somewhere. Folks, don't miss this opportunity. I don't care who caught it. Like I said, that is a demonstration in the interest of the Southern Cameroons. I will be talking about this demonstration Every day I come on here, I will muster my energy, come into the studio to talk about this demonstration until I can talk about it no more. I'm going to call some of you at random so we talk about this demonstration. We need to make it happen. We need to make it big. We need to send a clear message again to the world. Folks, those of us in the United States are not the only ones are not the only ones whose family members were abducted by surrogate so-called Amber Boys brought in by Aparashiks of La Republic du Cameroon to try and discourage you and I from continuing to stand for what we believe in. We are not the only ones. They did it to, to these folks in Canada who came out there in big numbers. They are doing it to our people on ground zero who continue to respect the lockdowns. They are doing it to our people on ground one who continue to be steadfast. They are doing it to our people in Ghana who are mobilizing seriously to also show the world that Ambazonia must be free. Let us rise from the ashes of our division to show the world that we will stop at nothing until Ambazonia is free. Let me conclude this communication with this video. While I've been talking here every day about September 22, World Takumbon Day, unknown to a good lot of us, citizens of La Republic, some in opposition in La Republic, have seized on September 22 specifically as their own day that they will constantly call for demonstrations. Why? Because they have not, I mean, they have not yet processed how millions of people came out on the streets of Ambazonia in one day with no suspicions of some serious mobilization ongoing and turned their entire stupidity about a certain one and indivisible upside down. They want to go ahead of us. That's why, just like they have always tried to seize everything that is good about us, this is their, is, is their plan. If you doubt, watch this.
Commandant Commandant Ok. L'heure est arrivée. Tu as dit que le Cameroun n'est pas conçu pour faire les motos. Donc le Cameroun n'est pas né pour faire la moto. Donc le Cameroun est né pour aller à l'école. Après avoir fini l'école, le travail. Nous ne pouvons pas être à quoi là De 2018 à 2020. Il y a au moins un million de Camerounais. Il va partir. Il va Il va partir. 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 Oh, as you see, we cannot go to school, have certificates and come on. We're riding commercial motorbikes. People are meant to go to school, come out of school and have jobs. But us is misery. Pobia must go. Pobia must go. And I end up saying, on the 22nd, everybody out. Did you hear that? They say on the 22nd, everybody out. Finish up with them. <laughs> So you see, you hear what they say. So it's not only in Douala that they plan these demonstrations on the 22nd. They are planning for these demonstrations to happen all over their territory. North, South, East. And their plan, of course, is they hear us say World Takumbang Day. Is so that if something is happening on our land on that day, they will say it is all of the country responding to their call to oust Paul Beer. Ambazonians are not interested in ousting Paul Beer. We will pass our message. And on the 1st of October, which is World Ambazonia Day, we will paint the entire world blue and white. You hear them talk about Atanganji. Of course, Atanganji has been telling them, oh, if somebody shows the nose out, who's a little bit serpent affamé, that you meet a hungry python out there waiting for you. The Delta. Oh, if you go out, you will find yourself being put in a blender, the Moulinex. Mm. Of course, they all make a noise like this. At the end of the day, they chicken out and they fear. Oh, if you both go out there, I will send the bee. Bee that is telling the nice, I beg. I tell this honey bee. And this is why they are telling him that they eat honey bees. They will not be afraid. We'll wait and see. But you know, if it is the other bee with B-I-R, they can't mention it again because we have consumed them all in Ambazonia. Because Ambazonia has reduced them to their barest expression. They used to be dreaded and scared. They mean zero. Mention of B no longer scares anybody, even in La Republic. You come room, they know. Let's kick them out. <laughs> they are lost souls, lost generation, struggling to get their bearing, struggling to be copycats. But my people of Amazonia. We must stay focused. I will come back here continually for us to keep mobilizing our people. Let us go out there. Let us be out there to motivate, encourage, and inspire our people on ground zero, our brave hearts, and then to tell the rest of the world that will remain left out. I want to thank each and every one of you that spared some time to be part of uh, this communication and so please share the link as much as you can so that as many of our people as possible will have the opportunity to watch what our brave brothers and sisters of Amazon of the southern Cameroons based in Canada did and so that it should serve as an example for Ambazonians 
all over the world to emulate. Yes, we will kick La Republic of Cameroon in the ass. Yes, they will leave our land. Yes, the path may be rough and thorny, but we cannot just sit around and not do anything. We have to do something. We must continue to do something to God.